Welcome, Internet, to episode one of Is It Aggro against Welcome James C. So welcomes all around on this somewhat lively Friday. So playing the Is It Aggro deck, like I said, it's kind of like a vacation deck this time. Now the thing with this deck is, like, it mulligans horribly in my opinion. Like, I would like more, like... I mean, the Krakos commands are nice, but I would like more than, you know, just one of the Kiln Fiend, Gutter Snipe, Talrand, um, Pyromancer cards. I mean, that's really only, like, was there 14, like, actual creatures in the deck? So, it kind of mulligans bad, but I like seeing a green deck. But, you know, he is, uh, he's ramping. Uh, it's Gruul. So I don't expect this Kiln Fiend to live, and that's unfortunate, but you know, I'm going to make him have it, play out the Kiln Fiend first, and then I'll start uh, firing off Krenko's commands, and we'll see how that goes. And there's another Elvish Pioneer. He's ramping hard. Um, here's a Talrand. All right, before I start firing off, I'm actually gonna do this. I'm gonna get real fucking loose. I want to get these stupid pioneers out of the way. And I'm going to represent five more damage with the shock if he doesn't block. So, yeah, so I got him to block. And also bodes a little bit better for our Krenko's commands later, so we can't trade with them. So I'm actually going to Krenko's here over Talrand. I said I have a... Uh, one threat. The question is, do I want to double Krenko's? I think if he had the... If he had removal, he would have used it already. Like, I would even anger the gods that single Kiln Fiend. So I'm just going to go ham here. I mean, he's almost at 6 mana. Like, we could have an Inferno Titan in our future. In the very near future, and we'll probably just immediately die. I mean, we were on the play too, right? That's pretty crazy that he's on. Fourth land, six turn. Yeah, dude, they always fucking have it, dude. Like, I can't fucking believe this. How many videos have you guys watched where I just get fucking tightened? Like, double pioneer with the with the lands to play it and into Inferno Titan. So we're dead. There's there's nothing to be done about that. I mean, we're going to lose all those guys anyways, <laughs> so might as well get in for two. So this is, this is starting off fucking wonderfully. Like, fucking Inferno Titan. Every fucking time Inferno Titan. Like, I only have, like, one three mana spell, so... If I draw a spell that's not Trumpet Blast, I can at least get something out of this Talrand. But it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Let's see if he goes all in here. I mean, that's really my only hope to see if he indulges in that behavior, and then I would have to hit, you know, a Vapor Snag to punish him. But he's not. He's probably got something else. Land Palaka Worm land nothing all right so I mean what does this talent do save us two damage sure I'll play it it doesn't matter we're dead he's got he's got lethal on on board so he's actually got 14 actually no the talent saves us oh well, not anymore I mean my kingdom for a fucking vapor snag. I 
mean, he has lethal. If he just points it... No, wait. No, I think, actually, that Hunter's Prowess denied him lethal. So... So we get to see a nice missed lethal here. Which is awesome. But now there's really nothing we can do. I mean, we can bounce the Inferno Titan. We can't do 11 damage. So yeah, so if he doesn't play that Hunter's Prowess, we die. Because he can just shoot two at Talon, and he just uses all the extra mana. Like, he used five mana to do three extra damage. When really he could have... And I guess one of that mana was green. So... He could have got us, but that's unfortunate. And we're just going to... I mean, what? Is it fucking Elf Titan? So yeah, so if this, if this guy fucking never draws his Titan, like, we just fucking absolutely murder him. So. Whatever, guys. We lost this one. But there's no... There's no... There's no beating it in front of Titan this deck. Especially a turn four Inferno Titan. Like, what a joke. If you guys think I have a fucking bad attitude, that's that's just the fucking truth. That was a fucking joke. Like, should I say, like, oh, good, good on you. You played real well. Like, he missed lethal. He didn't He didn't play real well. He, he just played elves and uh, an Inferno Titan, so. And miss, missed lethal, so. Good for him. And he had the god draw. The double double pioneer. Fucking straight into Inferno Titan. He had all those lands in hand. So. Whatever. So. I mean, if he doesn't have the Titan there, if he doesn't just accelerate to the Titan, I think we would have eventually, you know, got him down. The Bane Fire play was maybe kind of loose. But, you know, I'm trying to force through damage. I didn't put him on any removal spell. I mean, he would have killed that. He would have killed that Kiln Fiend. I probably would have angered Anger of the Gods a single Kiln Fiend. But, uh, in typical Xbox One fashion, I'm not going to find the game quickly. So, I'm going to pause the video and be right back. Hey, welcome back, Internet. It may have only been a couple seconds for you, but it was 14 minutes for me. It's like fucking Interstellar. So, anyways, during those 14 minutes, I was fiddling around with some shit. As well as trying to find a game. And, you know, I got to thinking... Not really thinking, but, I mean, you saw that last game. Like, I just hope... I have no spells, but this I'm not going to fucking mulligan that hand. Hope I draw some spells. Um, that with Duel's Origins, I mean, I know it's much too late, but Stainless, Wizards, whoever, if you're listening, yes, they're, you know, you have the Mythic Rarity restriction and all that, but no fucking Titans, none of the five, like, they are just, like, if it's going to be a format like this, you know, open deck building, you know, generally low power level, like, the Titans do not fucking belong in a format like that, even as a one of. I mean, because there are just so many games, like, you know, in this game, you play an Inferno Titan, you win. That's it. End of story. So, I'm going to play a Gutter Snipe here. I'm going to, you know, invite the two-for-one anger. But, you know, I got nothing else going on. I got a, I got Talrans to follow up with if this board gets dealt with. But I can't simply just sit around and do one a turn. It's no anger this time. So what does he pick? We got a snipe. I guess that's what I would pick too. You know, because he, because the kiln fiend actually has to do its damage, or has to rumble in combat. So actually, I'm gonna play out one of these tolerance again. I can't just sit here and uh, just do one damage a turn. All right, we got 50 cards, and I guess what I say, 32 spells, you know, minus eight. So 24 of those 50 cards are what I'm looking for right now. 
So if he's gonna anger, now's the time. He could have another, you know. Sh I mean, this deck is really soft to removal. And we're probably going to get in front of Titan next turn. So, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's just... <laughs> I can't fucking deal with this game right now. I really can't. This is ridiculous. Seven... Seven of eleven. The stainless motherfucking special. Kept the four lander and have drawn nothing but fucking land since. Nothing. So it actually... Oh, he's playing a spicy one. He's playing Sands. Oh, he... Uh, that was a Kozilek. He just fucking got rid of his entire graveyard. I don't know why you would play Kozilek in a graveyard strategy. But there you go. So he's got all sorts of shit in here. So do I want to let him? Yeah, he can remill the graveyard. I got to start getting in. I can't. I can't fuck around with this. I cannot. But you know what beats spider spawning? An artful dodge. He's playing Ground Assault, Dead Reckoning, Voyages End. Like this is this is a fucking monstrosity. I don't know why you would not block there. I mean what else is that fucking Seder Wayfinder gonna do? But I mostly, you know, pop that Vapor Snag to Vapor Snag really did three damage and made a Drake. And got rid of a Seder Wayfinder, but here comes Shield Root or Planar Cleansing. So this is this is a brew. Alright, so we'll just uh Talrend up. Sandbag the land. There's no real reason to play that seventh land right there. I mean, like, any bomb creature, like, we're just dead. Just, just not a good day so far. Not a good day for the aggro decks. What is he gravediggering back? Ah, the Seathsayer. Well, that's a good one to, that's a good one to get back. And does he have anything? All right, so we're just gonna shock his dude. And the race is on. We gotta get there before he does something degenerate. Hey, alien number eight. So he's gonna be able to drop a suit there and get something spicy, but at least we have a an air force. And if he taps out, eh, he has the fucking ground cell, of course. I think that was a misplay on his part. And let's see, he has another removal spell for this Drake. A top deck Banefire, and I win. And I bet he'd love to see that elixir. Not a Banefire. Wow, I fucking have seen it all now. I've seen it all. I guess no wonder we haven't died yet is because he's playing all these weird ass cards. So we still win with the top deck main fire, I think. No, we don't. We're we're one off lethal. There's a soothsayer, so I would love an artful dodge here. And if I Artful Dodge, I actually will probably just cast it twice for the damage. 
That way, any future top deck shock or vapor snag or whatever is will be lethal. So you know, I got to do a little bit of math here. But if he just wasn't playing such a mishmash of sh nonsense, I think we we should be dead already. Like, I mean, I don't know what his deck's trying to do, to be honest with you. I hope we draw a think twice, think twice, into think twice. Okay, think twice into think twice into artful dodge. Or even think twice, flashback, think twice, artful dodge. Winner. All right, he has a grizzle brand, so he's just playing everything. Oh, baby, an artful dodge. So one off, one off lethal thanks to uh, so I mean what I could have done, I could have just artful dodged once, but I think I give myself more top decks. Like, if I Artful Dodge, hit for four, and then he doesn't deal with the Kiln Fiend, and I Artful Dodge, hit for four again, he's dead. But this makes, like, you know, as long as he doesn't have any life gain, like, any shock, like, I have three more shocks, three more Vapor Snags, three more Artful Dodges, two Bane Fires, like, think twice to, to find those cards. Like, I've got a lot. Here's a Species Gorger. So I have a lot of outs. I like I have a shit ton of outs. I think. <laughs> I mean, he's just he's just playing it all. So he's gonna leave himself. I mean, he's dead to vapor snag anyways. I mean, he's. I said I have, I have about a million top decks. Out of forty four cards. And that was one of them. Good game. So what's he gonna die to? Unless he is he running a vapor snag too? Like, cause that would be fucking hilarious. So yeah, so I mean that play was a little bit risky, the double dodge. But like I said, I think that gave us way more outs. If we uh didn't make that play, we don't have lethal there. So I rolled the dice and it paid off. So given that that last game like took so long to find, um, I'm not gonna do another game. That's probably gonna put us like just a shade under 20 minutes. So, but you know, I'll be back. I'll try and get something going over the weekend. But if you don't see me, hope you guys have a good weekend. And I'm gonna go dust the salt off my shoulder because I'm still feeling it from that first game. And that second game, I probably would have been really salty after. <laughs> You know, playing against that amalgamation of cards like I don't know what the hell is going on in there maybe he has a good idea but I did not see any cohesiveness there all right take care everyone later and goodbye